is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen, my 10th anniversary line of merchandise has officially launched on my Teespring. This is a line of merch that I was working with the designer over the course of this year on. We went back and forth a few times with ideas for different designs and various things. And as of last night, I finally took the time, took about two hours to set all this up, got it all up on my Teespring shop. We've got many new designs up, however, there's a few there that I really like. I've actually ordered myself three of the different designs on t-shirts, so that I can show these designs off on stream for you guys. Um, coming up, in fact, the, the order that I placed last night, these shirts should be showing up in the next week. Okay, so either this weekend or next week, early on next week at the earliest. Um, now you know, money is very tight for me, but I figured this would be an investment. Huh? Sorry, I don't need your quarters. Hopefully, being able to show off this merchandise on... Here's the, here's the title card for it, by the way. Look at that. There's some of the new things. You have the graffiti design, the 10 years of Dark Side Phil design, the 2008 original design, and the King of Retro design. They're all really good, okay? And, by the way, you can get those on t-shirts, uh, women's t-shirts, mugs, stickers, and a, a couple cases, sweatshirts. One of the designs didn't really fit well on a sweatshirt, but some of them did. So, give it a look, alright? And, if you do buy anything, okay... From that line of product, number one, obviously, you're going to get a really cool new piece of merchandise, all right? But at the same time, I, it helps me out tremendously. I get a commission for every sale. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. All right, and like you guys know, right now, I really need your support. I'm not going to go into massive detail about it. You guys are regulars, and you know what's going on. Um, a lot of you have actually said, oh, I'm interested in maybe buying something from the Teespring shop, but I'm waiting for the 10th anniversary line of product. So... There you go. And you know, already I'm seeing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. Some people in the stream chat are, are being critical. Well, it's all words. It's all words. Uh, you, you already did all words, and uh, I don't understand. You guys got to understand something. This is the truth. The designs that were not all words actually don't sell as well. Most of the, one, the designs that have sold the best on my Teespring shop over the last year were actually all words. Or just like words with one little piece of artwork, like one little thing. Um, I, you know, the things that actually have elaborate art usually don't sell. I don't know why, but that's the truth. I think people like more simplistic stuff. Um, especially like, for, I'll give you an example. If you have a shirt that has my fucking face on it, how are you going to wear that shirt around? You know what I mean? Wow, what the hell is that shirt? Someone's face on it, you know. Oh! What is that? Versus if you have a shirt that just have a logo or something, that is something more generic that you could probably wear out about town or whatever, and no one's going to care what it says. You see what I mean? Versus if you wear a shirt with someone's face or, you know, cartoonish shit on it, people are going to look at it and try to see what is that. I could seduce a girl with my eyes. My disgusting eyes. Ugh. And that's more distracting to wear a normal shirt out than just a shirt that has a couple words on it. You know what I mean? That's the truth. Is that the, wor the, 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 the designs that are more like logos or words have sold better. And that's why, as you can see, this 10th anniversary line of product is primarily that, okay? Um, so please give it a look. Teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. And anything you buy, like I said, number one, helps me out tremendously. And number two, uh, obviously, you got a really cool collectible. I would love to see you guys, uh, you know, show me all, show me the, the merch that you order. If you want to send me a picture on, on Twitter or whatever, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it myself and see you guys enjoying it, okay? Um, I know a lot of people, like I said, have been waiting purposely for this line of product to launch. It is now launched. Please give it a look, all right? He asked, if I had a palace, what do the seven deadly sins would it represent, and what location would you like it to be? Oh, man. I don't know. I guess mine would be pride, probably, because I'm very proud of my work. You know, I've been very stubborn over the years about the way I do videos and not wanting to give in to the trends on YouTube because I like my videos a certain way. So more than likely for me it would be pride, I think. Yes. I do want to apologize for yesterday. I Sorry for fucking what? I was pretty, pretty, uh, after Vice City, I was pretty stressed out. I've been stressed out recently a lot. Negative toxic behavior on Twitch. Uh, you know, right now we're in a situation where I don't know what the future holds. And, and within the next one to two months, I might have to make some really... 
really shitty decisions. Let's put it that way. With my financial situation now, because YouTube, I can't make money on YouTube anymore, and I rely 100% on streaming. Um, I'm really reliant on, on, you know, basically bringing in as much money as I can on streams, and if I have a slow time or whatever, uh, it stresses me out. And this week, in particular, was slow, because like I said, I had a couple days off, and there really wasn't much to bring in people besides Vice City, and it stresses me out, it does. Um, and I look at things, and I'm like, man, so now coming up, I'm gonna have to make, like, a decision between this or this, and they're both shitty, and some of these things can hurt my credit and everything, I look at them, and I'm like, ugh, you know? After ten years... 10 years of being a content creator and loving my job, you know, and everything, you know, being great. And especially this past year in particular where I really focused on streaming and I'm reinvigorated. I love my job. I want to do this every day. I love sharing these, this time with you guys. It's so much fun, right? Um, to know that now, because YouTube fucked me over, that now financially I could be completely screwed and I don't know what the future holds. It's not a good situation, you know? I need that money to pay my bills. Let the green roll in. Oh, let the money roll in. Milk that fucking gravy train for as much money as you possibly can. Milk and honey, I like to say. I'm gonna pound the fuck out of them. And it, it comes through sometimes in the streams. In particular, I know yesterday, I was playing Street Fighter. I was getting very stressed the fuck out. And some people were like, oh man, Phil's you know, basically being like very uh, agitated. And, you know, we like it more when he's relaxed and he's having fun versus when he's agitated. And I apologize for that. For those of you who were here yesterday for the Street Fighter stream, definitely I was. You know, I was pissed at other things that were permeating through to the stream, and I want to apologize for that. I'm hoping that today, hopefully I can just forget about that shit and just more be more relaxed on stream with you guys, okay? So, let's see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully things go better today, and hopefully I don't freak out over stress and shit. You know what I mean? It just sucks when that happens, because, you know, in the spur of the moment, I get I can get emotional, or I could get uh, agitated, and I can't really control it. You know, back in high school, I was on a cocktail of medications... I mean, real talk, when I was in high school at one point, I was to the point where, I, like, I was losing it. I wanted to either go do something drastic or, you know, go nuts. There was a girl who I was, like, obsessed with for a while until things cooled down. And then later in the day, here I am, right? And I'm sitting down and I'm editing the videos. What? <laughs> what? together to release and I'm like man I was a real dick during those matches you know because I was so angry about other stuff and it frustrates me to again later on look back and say fuck man in that moment I wish I could have just got control of myself but you know what at the very least at least I wasn't being a really offensive asshole you know I could have been just, like completely insulting the guy and everything and I wasn't I was just saying you know oh, the game is random shit and stuff like that huh <sighs> sometimes it can get pretty frustrating right you know but uh so, thank you guys for understanding. I, again, I apologize. I hope today will be a more laid-back day. Um, I really do. And that the stress won't get to me. Okay? I want to say thank you guys for 10 years of support. You guys have been amazing. You know, 10 years you've allowed me to do what I love for a living. And I want to obviously keep doing it. And hopefully we can make it work, you know? Twitch loves me and my streams. You know, I love Twitch. Twitch is the future. It's disgusting, in my opinion. It's immoral. Android X Charities, I saw your tweet. He says, you need to decide between two bad decisions. Can you elaborate? If not, I wish you the best of luck. I can't give you specifics, but in general, like I said, Android. Another mysterious thing going on that I can't give you specifics of, I know. And I can't. I'm an artist. Phil's a scam artist. Right now, financially, things are going to suck. Like, right now, they're okay, but probably within another one to two months, if things don't turn around in some way, some big way, uh, it's going to come to the point where, you know, what's the, the, the decision that I make that's going to hurt the least, you know? Right now, financially, there's no way I can even meet my obligations as long as... Let me put it this way. Let me put it in a positive spin. If the month of August, right now, on stream is as good as July was, then maybe I'll be okay. That's constantly begging. I load begging. I beg all the time. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. But... For me, I'm always kind of scared because I know that sometimes, like last month, we had some people who came out and were incredibly generous. I had the biggest cheer ever on stream last month, ever, right? In history, you know, for the year and a half I've been live streaming here on Twitch. I had the biggest cheer ever. I had a bunch of people who were competing to try to, you know, to get the, the top contributor for the month. And that helped tremendously. Is that going to happen every month? Probably not. And that's the problem. Disgusting beggar. Phil's just a, one of the worst e-beggars. Like, July was amazing. Will August be able to live up to July? I don't know. And it really has nothing to do with me. It has to do... I have to keep putting out fun, entertaining content and make a chill, fun atmosphere for you guys to hang out with every day and just hope that positive stuff happens. That's kind of the mercy that I'm at, right? But it's cool because, in general, things have worked out as long as I've stayed positive on Twitch. But... <clears throat> 
if things don't work out this month, that's it. Like, I have to make some crazy decisions. Like, what thing do I do to hurt my credit? <laughs> you know, what thing do I do? What bills do I not pay? Or, you know what I mean? Like, that's a situation I'm, I'm facing. And that's not a good situation to be in. I was fine when I had the YouTube revenue. And I just gotten past the back taxes issue. And now I get fucked over again. It's like every single time something gets solved, the next thing happens. And you know what? Some people actually at this point don't believe me anymore. Celebratory toast. Everyone, if you have a drink, raise your glass with me. Let's have a celebratory toast to being done with that fucking shit. Salud. They actually think I make it up. No, I know you're lying. Like this is actually my life where a giant hurdle appears. It takes maybe several months to a year. I find a way to get over the hurdle and then like an even bigger ginormous fucking hurdle lands on me and hits me in the nuts. Karma. And I earn what I deserve. Everyone has a right to be happy. As long as your happiness doesn't come at the expense of thousands of others, you know, and this has happened like year after year after year. It's just like, when the fuck does it end? When do I finally get to just sit here and enjoy what I do and not have to worry about this shit constantly? And it just drives me nuts, man. It seriously does. Um, and I apologize that you guys have to hear about this shit, but really it is. I'm, I'm, you guys are the reason I'm still here. You know what I mean? Your support. So if this month is great, that maybe I won't have to make a terrible decision. If this month isn't as good as July was, um, then I'm pretty much screwed and I have to start making really terrible decisions. And that's the bottom line. I'm not gonna tell you the specifics of them. That is d really nasty. I mean, it's rare when I have to come out and say, guys, we really need tons of money today. When do I say that, right? I don't, I don't feel that I'm in a situation where I do those kind of things. Um, you know, there are, sadly, there are people out there who exploit uh, and they find ways to exploit, exploit, exploit constantly. But that's kind of what I'm, I'm talking about. That's why I was so stressed yesterday and why here I am playing Street Fighter. I'm like like going nuts, screaming and getting all angry and shit. And it really has nothing to do with the game. It's just because me in the back of my head having all this stress and shit, you know. That was my depression. He doesn't really have depression. He's trying to do that to get sympathy. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me that I'm a bad person. It's telling me that I don't deserve any success. It's telling me that I'm ugly. It's telling me that I'm fat. It's telling me that I'm gross. It's telling me that I'm not funny, that I'm worthless, that I'm a sellout, that I'm a shill, that I'm a piece of crap, that I don't deserve any kind of positivity. I don't deserve my girlfriend. I don't deserve the love of my parents. I don't deserve to live. And it's there. And it never fucking goes away. It, it, some people say, I'll just go on pills. That's not the solution either. Pills help. Don't get me don't get me wrong. You, you know, pills absolutely help, but they don't cure these kind of issues. They just help to mitigate and help to keep it under wraps. You know, like I said, like sometimes it's the guy in the shoulder, like I mentioned. So maybe that guy on the shoulder goes away for a couple days, but he's going to come back, but at least he's gone for a couple days, right? There's no great financial crisis looming over my fucking head. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Android shoot again, he says, the sub count is crazy. The dream I had of you hitting 3,000 subs is feeling a little less crazy now, huh? Not really. There's no way I'm hitting 3,000 subs. Uh, in order to get 3,000 subs, I need 3,000 viewers. Like I said, on average... My viewers are around 400, although last month I had way more than that, except for playing Persona 5, which killed my view count. So if I hadn't played Persona 5 last month, um, I probably would have had an average view count of six to 700 viewers, right? And yeah, more than likely, eventually, if I could keep growing the channel, I will end up getting more and more. So I have. If you look at the last year, holy crap, last year, I could never imagine to have over 500 subs, you know? And now we get between four or 500 subs pretty consistently. So the channel's growing. Things are going good. You know, on Twitch, everything's been positive. So, thank you guys for your support. That douche kid cheered. He said, I came across... Oh, here we go. He's reporting a negative channel. Dude, it's up to you to do whatever you want. If you find a negative channel on YouTube or whatever, and you want to report it, you go right ahead. I'm far above that shit. I can't. I can't deal. There's so many neg people who say negative stuff about me on a daily basis. I can't deal with it. And please, we don't bring that stuff up on the stream, so please don't bring it up. Uh, Paul Danino tipped me a dollar. And he says, Phil, why do you say that you get a commission for every shirt sold, and that it helps you out? It's like going to buy a car, and the salesman's like, please, guys, buy the car. I get a little back, and every bit helps. Well, it's very simple. It's very simple, guys. Greed is 
massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. When you go to buy a used car, you're going to a used car lot to purchase a car, right? You're looking for a car. You understand that if you buy something from there, right, you're going to basically give commission to the, to the company. You know that. When you come to my stream, you're not necessarily coming to my stream to buy a shirt. You're not coming to my stream to buy a mug. But if you find out, oh, wow, if I buy a cool shirt, Phil actually helps Phil out. So, you know, there are other ways to help. But if I do but do this way, I get something and he gets something too. They may be convinced to buy a shirt versus just me saying, oh, I have shirts, buy them, right? It seems like more like I'm shoving a, a, a product down your throat rather than saying, oh, by the way, the reason that I'm really selling these is because it helps me out and you get something out of it. It's a different way to present a product. I don't have a marketing scheme. I never have. I just play games. I'm here to play games and have fun. I'm not here to be a whore. All right? I'm not here to beg you for money. That shows mutual benefit. Because the thing is, in general, anyone who supports me, the reason you're doing it is so that I keep putting out free content every day, right? People are not coming to stream and cheering, something and tipping just because they're doing it because they love the streams. They want the streams to continue. So if someone comes to the stream, oh, if I buy a shirt, I can keep these streams going. All right, I'll buy a shirt then. Versus, oh, I'm just buying a shirt to buy a shirt. I don't need a shirt, so I'm not going to buy one. So it's a different strategy, and it makes sense. Marketing standpoint, you know, if you, I'm pretty sure if you just go to a car lot and the car guy says, you know, I really need your help, buy a car, you're not going to give a shit. But I'm already giving you a free service on a daily basis. It's a better way to present the product, okay? What? What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> third eye the third cheered. Um and he says the person who makes all this fan art for you, do you think they have a shrine dedicated to you in their closet? I am very much a man of the people. I'm like the man's man. I am the strongest. No, I think this is probably a very artistic person who has a lot of skill. Obviously, this guy has drawn various different styles, right? Anime style, more realistic style, and maybe this is their out their outlet to be able to use their artistic style in a way that number one helps me, but number two gets their stuff out there and seen by hundreds, if not thousands, of people on a daily basis. So I appreciate it because it's cool. They benefit, I benefit, right? So shout out to Hermano Carl, who's the person who made a lot of this stuff for the pre-streams. Uh, no, floppy, I'm not gonna do a shirtless stream. That's disgusting, oh my god. Ah! Oh! oh! No, that's disgusting. 3BZ tipped me a dollar, and he says, Why can't you just say, guys, I have shirts, get them if you want them? Seems weird telling people you get a piece of the pie. Would it not already be assumed that buying a shirt helps you out? Some people may not realize that. Some people may not realize that. Some people may say, oh, it's just a shirt. I don't want it. Oh, wait, it's a shirt and it helps out Phil and it ensures that he can keep streaming. Okay, then I'll do it. That's the difference. It's called marketing. I don't have a marketing scheme. I never have. I just play games. I'm here to play games and have fun. I'm not here to be a whore. All right? I'm not here to beg you for money. Yolo Dopper Charity says, Phil, now that you're making less money, uh, that you have to pay less taxes as well. That's true. The problem is I need the money to pay my fucking regular bills. <laughs> That's the problem is now, okay, yeah, I'll owe overall less taxes during the year. That's great. But now having a giant dip in income out of nowhere, right? It's not like money's going to fall from the fucking sky to pay the bills. So that's the problem I'm facing right now is what's going to happen in one to two months when I really get hit negatively by this, you know? Paul Danino tipped me another dollar. He says, thanks for explaining. Um, oh, I don't even know what this means. I'm not going to read it because it's some kind of... I don't even know what it means. So I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> it may be something... It may be a detractor. I don't know. I have no idea and I'm not going to read it. But thanks for the dollar tip, whoever you are. Maybe I'm paranoid by nature. Help! Save the pig! What the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. 
I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.